Welcome, welcome, welcome. In case you didn't realize from the title and the thumbnail, we are gonna be looking at getting the SSG10 really, really quiet. Now, Eva Athena has been using her SSG10 that I bought for her at Christmas. She's doing really well. She's actually really enjoyed the sniping. She hasn't touched her HPA Evo since using the SSG10 out of restrictions. And last week when we were playing at Spec Ops, she did amazing and got loads of kills, which she will be editing a little video for you guys. But more than that in the next coming week. Now she's been using her ghillie suit, her HPA Evo, which is all very, very quiet. Now she's moved to the SSG 10 and she's playing the stealth game, but the SSG is actually quite loud. There's not much point going to the effort of ghillie crafting and doing your rifle and getting it all nice and covered, ready to get that stealth kill whenever you hear this. It's not ideal, so let's jump into it and get it as quiet as possible. Now, in my previous jobs, I used to be an audio technician. I know quite a lot about sound and everything you will find has a note to it. This roof, which is really, really noisy. Our bodies, which is actually very, very quiet. And of course, our rifles. Evo Athena has the SSG10 A1 stock and the rifle is quite noisy in itself. Unlike my body, which doesn't really have a note off it. And there's a ring off the spring. I don't know if you can hear that in the mics. Anywhere I'm hearing a noise, I'm going to attack and try to dampen that noise as best as possible. First up is the body. Now the buttstock in the SSG10 and most VSR platforms is hollow. So I recommend you pack this out with sponge, foam, or in this case, an old dishcloth. Anything at all to absorb that sound and stop it echoing out towards your enemies. Now for the main body of the stock, I recommend using Scotch-Brite or some thin foam just to get into all the intricate places. I'm using some super glue just to hold them in place. In this case, shoe glue. Now the results for doing this will actually be minimal. But we may as well do as much as we can to get it as quiet as possible. The next thing that's pretty easy to do is just purchase a silencer. But the Novich one is pretty darn good, so I recommend sticking that on the front of your gun. Now the Novich silencer comes with two sets of foam rings, narrow and thick. I recommend alternating these as best as you can because adding the crevices will actually help trap the sound. Now that the body's finished, it's time to attack that weird little ring which is coming from the spring. Now that ringing noise is coming from the spring, vibrating up and down on the spring guide. It's an awful sound, sometimes after you shoot the gun you hear this weird overtone. Sometimes it can be the trigger spring, which you can dab loads of grease in to sort that out. However, this is the main spring and the spring guide. Let's go to work on sorting that out. There are a couple of ways of dealing with this problem. As mentioned, you can get some thick, thick grease and smear it all over the spring guide and that will help coat the metallic finish and remove the ringing sound. Now if there's lots of space between the spring and the spring guide, you can do the coke can mod or get a birthday card, cut it up, roll it around the spring guide and that should give you a snugger fit and make it silent. Although in this case, I'm going to swap out the SSG spring and spring guide for a stalker spring guide and a raypack spring. These fit each other a lot better, so just a bit of grease should sort that ringing out. So 
So we've dampened down the body, we've taken care of the spring and the spring guide, we've even added a nice silencer. The only thing left to do is take care of that nasty slapping sound of the piston. Now I've been using the stalker piston in my SRS for quite some time now and it is extremely reliable, it's consistent, it allows me to adjust the FPS, but most importantly it is incredibly silent. After doing all those mods and using the piston and dialing in the weight and the spring etc etc the SSG10 is really really quiet now. I'm pretty happy with that. At 20 meters you heard the impact of the BB, you heard the whoosh of the BB but you could barely 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 detect the gun actually being fired which is a really really good thing. Scorpion piston will be out very very soon so keep an eye out on Skirm Shop. the links are down below and if you find this video helpful and you want to get the piston you can use my affiliate link below. Anyway it's really sunny here in Northern Ireland for once so I'm going to go and enjoy it. Peace.